hey what's up welcome everybody so in this series of videos we'll build a front end uh, to consume this API that we built in couple of videos ago uh, building uh, API with passport uh, we'll consume this API using react.js so we already created a Vue.js part so this will be the beginners tutorial will uh, without uh, spending too much time on learning uh, we'll directly uh, directly jump into project and start building and learn along the way so if you are ready let's get started so here i'm at uh, documentation page we'll do the quick installation uh, so we want to create a new app new react app so first you need to install this uh, create react app um, to uh, create a new app or you can directly do using this npx Okay, so our React app is successfully installed. So use this uh, this method uh, instead of this npx. It works. It doesn't at the time of this recording. So uh, we need to cd into React on book that we just created and then run npm start. Okay, so we got this uh, default setup. Now let's uh, open this up on VS Code. I'll open up new link, sorry, new tab. Okay, so we got this by default. We got app.js where you can change uh, anything. So that you see in browser is this page. Okay, so the application that we uh, we are going to create is a kind of simple phone book where a uh, user can log in and register and then he or she can see his or her contacts and do edit and say thing things like that okay so uh, let's create a login register component uh, so that user can log in and then visit home page to view uh, his contacts okay actually we need to pull in this react router dom package so we can install by this npm install react router dom so let's do that Okay, once that uh, React router is pulled in, let's go to, let's include this into our application. So we can import this into our app.js, which is main component, just here. So we are importing uh, these variables, router, route, and link. So basically, uh, we, we need uh, this is everything that we see on browser uh, on this page right now. And now we need to wrap everything inside this router. So let's put everything inside router and then we'll need uh, links to display uh, those components so we'll create link so uh, currently uh, right now we'll not focus on html css later on we'll add uh, our framework like beautify for react there is element ui i think so we'll use that so to display link we need to use this link and name will be home so this will point to home similarly we'll create two more links that will point to register and login and let's go let's visit browser okay. so we need to wrap everything inside this tip so if you develop with Vue.js you know you cannot do okay so just put this inside this tip so this component may have only one wrapping element so we have three component but while clicking on the uh, this we can see this uh, URL changing but we cannot see component because we haven't created any component mm -hmm. Let's create a register and login components. So 
will create login .js and we'll clear some so we don't need these so login so this component uh, will have a simple form so I'll give okay so in this component uh, login component we created two form field one email and another password uh, now let's uh, create a register out of this register .js and we'll add one more okay that's it so we need to change it okay so now that we have all form all components uh, now let's include those import login from login similarly register and now these are links and we need to show so in order to show component we will use this route we need to define two property like path so which path for which path we need to show the components for, for register we need to show component and component name of component register similarly for login we need to show login okay so we got login form register form and home page okay so this is kind of simple single page application uh, you do not do much but yeah this is basic routing okay so this is uh, basic setup of our project and from next video we'll create uh, we'll send request to backend to register and login i'll see you in the next video bye